Hi everyone. In the 11.5 features reel, there was a really cool instancing effect that showed how to control instances with nodes. And in this tutorial, what I want to do is show you how to recreate that effect. Uh, but first, let me just go ahead and play that video. Okay, so let's jump right into it and get started. In layout, I loaded in a ball and a box, and I named the ball instance generator, and the box, obviously, box. Um, and what we're going to do is apply instances to the surface of the ball, and those instances are going to be the box. So to do that, let's open up the object properties, and in the instancing tab, we're going to add the instance generator. Double click on it to open up the window. Let's move over here. And we're going to add the object of the box. And let's select it, change the type to surface, and we want to make this really dense. So let's up this to 200,000 instances. And you can see that they're all applied to the outside of the ball. So for scale, we're going to set the minimum to zero, just to give it some variation. And under stretch, we're going to set that to uniform. And you can keep these at 0% for now or adjust any of these settings later on. Offset is fine. And for rotation, I'm just going to change the alignment of those instances to the normals. And now let's go into the node editor, check use nodes, and open that up. So what we want to do is control these instances with a texture. And to do that, we first need to go to items. And let's add a null and just call this reference because what we're going to do is then animate this null and so we can get kind of a wavy effect from those uh, instances being controlled by the turbulence texture. So let's type in turbulence and let's open this up and just type in some settings that I found work best. For the opacity, we can set that to about 80%. Uh, contrast, 10% works fine. And we only want one frequency. Again, play with these settings as much as you like to get the effect that you're looking for. If you check out this little icon here for the syringe, and we hover over alpha, you can see that the alpha is 0 0.4. And that number is determined just by um, you know, all the different settings that you type into Turbulence. So what I want to do is now grab a Make Vector node, as well as a Multiply node. So I want to multiply that 0 0.4 by, let's say, 1. And then I'm going to take the alpha and put it into the A, and the result into the scale max. Let's then go to Turbulence, and for the reference object, we're going to choose the reference null that we made. Now, I could just take the alpha and put this straight into the offset max, but I wanted to use a vector so that I could only have it happen on the Y. Okay. So you can see that effect happening right away. Let's X out of that. And that as well. Let's go into the camera view here. And now if I grab the reference null and I move it on the X axis, you can see that we're getting that wavy effect. So I'm just going to type in negative 3 meters here on frame 0. And with auto key on, I'm going to go to frame 120. And then just get rid of that negative 3 and turn it into a positive 3. So now just scrubbing through the timeline, you can see that effect happening. In the video, you notice that all the instances at one point kind of shot up. So to do that, what we can do is go to the box and then go to frame 50. Let's hit enter twice to create a keyframe. Go to about frame 55. And then let's just raise that up on the Y axis. So you can see the effect happening there. And you can have this uh, stay like this for as long as you like. I'm just going to go to frame 70 and create another keyframe. Go back to frame 50. This time hit enter. And let's create the motion key at frame 75. So now if I scrub through, 
you can see we get the exact effect that we saw in the video. Now let's talk about surfacing this. So what I did in the video was go to the effects window and let's just use the default gradient backdrop. Then go to the render tab and go to render globals. And let's just turn on some global illumination and the default settings are fine for this tutorial. And let's go into VPR. All right, and there it is. Let's go to the surface editor. And the ball and the box both have a default uh, surface name. Let's go into the node editor. So let's check that and then check edit nodes. And I'm just going to start typing in color layer. We're going to add a color layer node. Let's double click on this and change it to a gradient. And here's where you can have fun and just play with a bunch of different colors. I'm going to start with a light blue and then go to maybe a yellow and then an orange and a red a darker red and then back to a blue. Right, maybe make this one a little bit more blue. Okay, so if we plug this into color, it changes completely blue just because the input parameter is set to previous layer. What I found gives a really cool effect is setting it to the incidence angle. So by doing that, you see we start getting some cool effects, but you can also play with these as you would like. And just add more keys, mess with the colors. So you start getting some really cool effects. Right, there you go. Okay, so that was the tutorial on how to control instances using nodes. And this is really cool for you know motion graphics, very abstract-like. And play around with the different settings, get the effect you're looking for, render it out, put it on YouTube, um, you know, send us a link for it, and I hope you guys learned a lot.